it's wave two. New Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass courses are here. I'll be rating each course in the same four categories I always use, the course, the look, the music, and the X Factor, giving them a rating out of five, where three is the average. Also, most of the footage is from my first time playing this course on 200cc, so please do not make fun of my driving or else you'll hurt my feelings. The Turnip Cup. Wait, turnips? Oh shit! New York Minute from Mario Kart Tour. New York City, baby! The Mets! Pizza Pie! I've been in New York City at least a dozen times, and this course is nothing like the actual place. Times Square, Central Park, Broadway. This is like a child's understanding of what New York City is. NYC is one of the worst places on the planet, and this map does not reflect that. Where's all the traffic? Where are the bodegas? Where's all the trash? Where's the pattern of woefully inept mayors poorly handling the city's homelessness crisis? Where's the extremely guillotinable landlords jacking up rent? Where are the Central Park stabbing? Things. Where's Queens? Taking creative liberties to fit the scope of your art? Get the fuck out of here! To be fair, the course does include trick ramps like actual New York City, so I'll let it slide. I haven't been saying anything about the course because it's fine, it's whatever. I like that each lap is different. Mario Circuit 3 from the Super Nintendo one, and the Game Boy Advance one, and the Wii one and the mobile gotcha one where Diddy Kong was $40. It's a classic course, but it definitely shows its age. It's kinda lame when they don't do anything beyond releasing a minimum viable product and keeping it a faithful remake. <laughs> At least Super Nintendo Rainbow Road looks visually distinct. This is just brown! The course does have good drifting, especially on 200cc, and some pretty eye mushroom shortcuts, but you know, after seven Mario Karts where they've been bringing back older courses, and this is this one's fifth appearance, yeah, I think people are pretty okay with no more old ass SNES courses coming back, especially if they're gonna look like this! Calamari Desert N64. Remember in my video where I reviewed the 48 base game tracks where I said that the worst courses in Mario Kart are the desert courses and the dessert courses? The worst courses in Mario Kart are desert courses and dessert courses, and this one is both. Well, you see, the footnote I failed to mention last time is that the course gets a pass if it has a fun little train on it. This normally forgettable course is enhanced by being a fusion of every time they've brought it back, and now each lap is different, and the music has fun Zorro trumpets. Calamari Desert is so much better now. This is how you bring back a course. And most importantly, it has a fun little train section where you drive on the tracks and get ran by a full speed train because it's a blind turn, but it's fine because trains are cool. If you don't like trains, then fuck you! Waluigi Pinball from Mario Kart DS, but really the version from Tor. It's an absolute classic. It's a lot of people's favorite Mario Kart course of all time for a reason, even if it's a little overrated. Did you know that pinball machines have directions written on them explaining how to rack up the combos? I only learned that this year. Anyways, this course is fun and thematic even if you get hit by giant pinballs that are near impossible to accurately predict and dodge because there's no bottom screen to look at because this isn't on the DS. But it's not a big deal because it's a Mario Kart. The Mets, baby! It's kind of lame how for the music they didn't make a new remix or arrangement or just use a different sound font and just reuse the exact same music file from Mario Stadium DS, making this the only repeat song in all of Mario Kart 8. But regardless of that, yeah, Waluigi Pinball, still a great course. The Propeller Cup. Sydney Sprint from Mario Kart Tour. I've never been to Australia because none of my Australian viewers have invited me. Plus, everything on this country has evolved to kill humans. Thank you, Will Smith. You've done nothing wrong. My limited knowledge of Australia has told me it either looks like this or this. So I'll assume Sydney looks exactly like this. You know it's Sydney because it's got the opera house that gets destroyed in like every disaster movie. I don't know what movie producers have against architecture. Got a nice yellow brick road to reference that classic movie, uh, Mad Max. I don't know what this part is though. Is this the fabled shrimp on the Barbie I've heard of? I'm not sure why the boomerang flower doesn't have an increased chance of appearing on this course. Kind of a missed opportunity. Wait a minute, Link uses a boomerang? Is he Australian? Is Hyrule just Australia? Quirky! Each lap is different, making the course more exciting, but most importantly, the music has a lot of saxophone, and the map has a little train on it. The train alone makes this the best remastered Mario Kart Tour map so far. If the graphics match the base game a little bit better, this could maybe pass as an actual Mario Kart 8 track. It really makes the ones that they half-assed really stand out more. Speaking of courses they half-assed, Snowland from Super Circuit on Game Boy Advance. You know how with the other snow courses, Sherbert Land is a, uh, uh, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, 
uh, good, and Ice Ice Outpost is good? Well, Snowland distinguishes itself by being not that. But it does have some cute penguins. That's it. I think part of it is adjacency bias. If you're playing the Propeller Cup in Grand Prix order, then following the bright and vibrant and exciting and train having Sydney Sprint with this boring, uninspired Snowland, it's just extremely forgettable. Especially compared to the creativity with other Game Boy Advance courses they brought back. I fucking hate Cheese Land, and after playing this course, I now have to issue a formal apology to Cheese Land. You know a course is bad when it makes Cheese Land look good by comparison. Mushroom Gorge from Mario Kart Wii. I do not enjoy this course. Sky High Sunday. It's a brand new course, and by that I mean it's a course made for Mario Kart Tour that had not been released yet. Remember in my video where I ranked all 48 base game tracks when I said the worst courses in Mario Kart are the desert courses and dessert courses? The worst courses in Mario Kart are desert courses and dessert courses, and this one is both. Well, the second footnote I forgot to add was that this course is kind of doo-doo. If this course was made by like a group of interns, or by a kid in a Nintendo Power contest who's never played or seen Mario Kart before, but was too excited and threw up a bunch of fruity pebbles and they base the course on the color of the vomit, I would understand. But as a product made by a team of professionals, I don't know what happened here. It's very thin straightaways with a bunch of ramps and it's very floaty and that's it. The only positive is that the song has some pretty good slapping bass. Y'all know me. I'm something of an aficionado of slap bass, but you can barely hear it over your character screaming from the trick ramps every three seconds, also known as the Mario Kart Wii effect. So what's the point? What's the point? Final thoughts. Overall, I'd say that this is one step up from wave one. Maybe they saw the uh, mixed reception from the first batch. Three of them are pretty dang good. Three are I and two are kind of lame. But I'll say it again, more courses in Mario Kart is a net positive. They even fixed the cars on Coconut Mall a little bit. 16 courses are enough for an entire Mario Kart game. And if this was the lineup, yeah, this would be the worst one. But there are 32 more courses to look forward to. And hopefully they make more of them like Calamari Desert and less like Snowland. Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to toss your boomerang into that subscribe button. This is obviously just my opinion, so comment below with how you feel about the Wave 2 courses. And today's code word is boomerang. Comment boomerang if you made it to the end of the video, and uh, that's it. Video's over.